Jesus. Oh, you, you talk about like third strikes. You talk. I mean, Dude, if, if your life's gonna, ruined, if you're going to fabricate something and it's a third strike, you just screwed that person for their whole life, generations. You know, you yeah. brought this up to me before. On yeah. how, how many people that affects? Yeah. Not just. And how does it? How much does it affect the cop? Not a. Bit. Don't even think about. I don't. I'm gonna tell you right care. now. Don't even care. Not even a blip of a memory. Don't, no. even, don't even care. Just keep small moving. But a whole family, a generation is just. See, and that tormented. That's the problem. That's why, like, the review thing would be great. Yeah, it'd be amazing. Because Start from finish with the body cans, the reviews. I mean, that would be that'd be pretty good. That'd be a pretty good idea. I mean, you know, it, especially in those harsh areas too. Yeah, because you, you know? got to look for solutions here. You just can't talk about all the problems that, no, that are never going to no, get fixed. And no, that, no, you know, no. but so that's why good that you brought that up because I never even thought of a solution until we were just sitting here. Well, I mean, you know, look look at how those uh, people were using the restrooms. You know, they uh, they they came up with that solution with the whole. Uh, oh my god! You know, <laughs> the the two the two people being able to use the restrooms, but uh, <laughs> the only thing I can tell you about the I, I mean, I kind of like I kind of like having the, the the different gender restrooms. Why is that? Well, I mean, so at the Lexus dealer, when I used to have a Lexus, I go to the Lexus dealership, and they had a, they had one that uh, had a silhouette of a man with a skirt. Oh. So half the, half the man had a skirt, and then half the man was just a man, and that was like I guess transgender one. I don't I don't know all the wait. Pronouns. Was it separate one transgender? Or yeah, was it separate. So they had three okay. bathrooms: they had a man, uh-huh. woman, and then they had a transgender one. Why did they just have one? That, uh, I, I don't, I don't know. know. But I went in the transgender one. <laughs> it was clean because there was no one ever in there. Yeah. And so one day I'm in there, you know. And Taking care of business and I come out of there, and uh, and so this person's looking at me like I'm a transgender, <laughs> and I was like, I was like, oh yeah, and I used to be a girl. He's yeah. like, he's like, well, you did a great job. It <laughs> 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 work like that. See, the, I see. I don't, I don't mind those clean ones either, man. Because you know, I think it's like because like I think because we we know like a girl might be coming in. Or oh. you know, but 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 if, but like you know, those regular bathrooms where there's men, there's oh, men. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Like I'll piss all over that yeah. seat because I don't even care. I don't even care <laughs> where it's going. I will put it on the toilet. I mean, like seriously, like I wouldn't even stuff drunk up. Like man, whatever. I don't even <laughs> care. But if you put a girl in there, or if there's one waiting outside that you knows that you were, if there's a line outside, it's this unisex back yeah. bathroom. And you go in before the girl. You gotta. Like, oh, you gotta go in before a girl. You gotta tie. Oh, up you gotta bring. You gotta put the perfume on. Spray the cologne. <laughs> like I don't care. What it is. If you gotta go number two. Oh man, yeah, dude. Put it. You say you're flushing right away. You're like. You're like, like right. on that back. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you put this toilet Putting seat the, up. The water's on. The soap going to get some fumes. I mean, yeah. and then because when you walk out. You they gotta, know you got to look pristine. You know, sometimes you try to make it quick, right? Because it's like you'll put you'll put you're the like, toilet. Yeah. Then, just, right. like, then you put watch. the toilet seat up so you look oh, like you pissed. Yes. Right? Yeah. I taught him that trick. Yeah. Man. I taught you that. That's the best. I was like, man. Yo, bro, Matt. Yeah. This is what you do, man? Say so you say you're doing number two, and the girl yeah. behind you. Yeah. Quickly flip that seat up, <laughs> yeah, because they're gonna think you pee. You blame it on the other guy that just was in there, <laughs> yeah, right? You get that, you get that. Yeah, you're like, too. oh man, yeah. Was like, <laughs> 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 you gotta blame those guys. Guys, yeah. asshole. Yeah, man, for <laughs> <He's> a jerk. <laughs> so I'm sorry, you got to deal with that. My bad. <laughs> but anyways, back, back. That's crazy. That, That's true, though. Yeah, no, it is. I was, you know, funny, I don't want to admit it, but you know, it's that funny. It's true, <laughs> man. But um. But we were talking about the other time, and you're the one that you you brought that up. Actually. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. You're like, yeah, when like there's a girl, and you're like, yeah, man, that's. that's, that's. <laughs> Got to be on point with that, but uh, but anyways, back to back to uh, what we were saying. So okay, so did you ever have any situations where someone unqualified showed up to your uh, call that you had on duty to where? you felt really uncomfortable with working with or anything like that. Did, it, did that ever happen? All the time. All the time. Yeah. I mean, I saw bad searches and you don't want to que- see the thing is like, you don't really want to question other cops when they're doing, when they're the, the lead investigator for that situation. Mm-hmm. Right. It's like, you don't, you don't come on someone else's turf and you really do that. It's like, but, but I mean, numerous times you would see people get roughed up. Really? Yeah. Like, 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 you know, my whole life I've been around like the fighting, the fighting world. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I'm not one to sit there and like handcuff someone and hurt them or something like that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But this stuff happens. Mm-hmm. It, it does happen, and you 
you would see people get searched when they had no search conditions, they had no probable cause, and you'd see them get searched, and they'd find stuff. And You would see that. All the time. You would see all that. Yeah. So. What about where am I supposed to go? What do, I mean, seriously, yeah. it's, it's, it's easier said than done. It's like, especially the circumstances, it really matters yeah. you know, on where you're at in the department and if you want to keep your job. Yeah, you got to hold just, it together. Right? You know, it's, it's the whole whistleblowing thing where everything's going to come crashing down on yeah, you. Yeah, it's like, is it worth it? Yeah. I guess no one ever really knows until they're put in that situation. That's a lot of things. People like to like point, but they don't know about the, the amount of pressure. Some people yeah, you're gonna stop. You're gonna stop you know. paying your house payment. You're gonna stop paying your car payment because you yeah. want to. You want to do the right thing. Some people would stand up and say yes. Some people would say no. Some people would say. You know, and I respect stuff. the ones that would stand up and do yeah. it. But if they're really in that situation, at least you're honest, bro. Hey, at least you're being honest right now because a lot of people are like, uh, uh, uh. but you're sitting here straight up, no, on your word, putting. The facts in the air of, of what really what most people and still people today are doing it's, right. you know so it's like you're not gonna give up your family i mean most most men wouldn't no i mean most, is, it, most is, men is it worth is it really worth it i mean that's how you have to look at it because yeah. everyone's out for themselves I mean, yeah. no matter how you look at it yep. right it's, not, it's i mean that's they're out for themselves that's true so you're gonna you're gonna go make a big point when this guy's dad's the chief, one of the captain of the police department. Wow, you know that he's the one that's doing all this crap. Holy shit! And works at the same station. You're gonna go, hey, yeah, sir, up the chain of command. You know, I just saw your son search his. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do real well in the department. Yeah. So yeah. I'm just saying that's really what happens, and that sucks because you have a lot of start hating you, and then they'll move you, they'll transfer <laughs> you, they'll put you somewhere. Yeah. That's all politics, man. It's, it's crazy. And that's the thing about this world is like people don't understand is like you have to be able to maneuver through politics. Success is is crazy. It's crazy. Just to be able to maintain your your life is is hard to do. Is is political sometimes when you're working for someone or the government or trying to win a show or compete or do anything. There's gonna be politics involved throughout your whole life. And it's gonna involve humility, uh, being humbled. Um, and I'm talking about the real humble, not that other stuff. Like, be nice to everyone. I'm talking about like literally get punked around, not say something. There's a lot of things that people have to do just to maintain their life, right? And everything. It's in. So I mean, for you to actually just come on here and be able to say this is incredible, bro. And I, I my hat is off to you as far as that goes, man. That's that's incredible. I, pre um, I appreciate I appreciate that. You know, yeah. so just just I mean, just what you're doing right like, right now, like even though you know, better late than never. You know, right? What I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, so yeah, that's that's you know, that's at this time in my life, yeah. If I was back then, I I, I totally would have. Yeah. If you knew then what you're doing now, done more. Yeah, but that's mm -hmm. like anyway, right? With yeah. Hindsight. Like, yeah. When you get older, man, you you definitely tend to care less about the crap and start caring more about the, what matters. What matters yeah. more. You know, you really do. And that's just something that, you know, you, you have to obtain that through experience in life and, and age and starting right. to realize what, what is, but, um, but what else? I mean, there, there was, there was there any, like, like, let's just say like, remember the girl that couldn't shoot. Did you ever have to be with any partners like that on the showed up on the job? Oh yeah. Yeah. Had, I had or a partner up guy. with them or. Yeah. I was partnered up with this, this someone just like the person that we talked about, you know, that was, Definitely a smaller statute and um, physically um, challenged in a lot of ways. Really? And, you know, I was so used to working with my partner. This, this is a, a story that I was so used to working with my partner, and he was a Marine. Mm. You were a Marine. Mm. The Marine mentality is pretty damn good as far as, you know, they're not going to walk away. They're going to be there backing you up, and they're going to. Yeah, if they're together, yeah. To, to yeah, get, for sure. For some, the there, there's some that, you know, this guy should, was like, shouldn't my be My partner Marines. was a drill sergeant, and he was like a, yeah. he was like Mr. Marine. Mm -hmm. And that's cool, man. He, he was tough. As, he was tough. Yeah, right? you, you get a lot of great Marines, man. Right. Like majority of people, like, they put you through a lot. Exactly. Yeah, I don't know how it is now. Right, but it's definitely. I don't know if it's the same. Standards are lower, in, just like everything else. I, yeah, I wouldn't know, but like I, I think that I don't know. I'm well, not going to speak I, unless I know about. I work it, with them, and standards oh, have lowered. Oh so. wow! But well. anyways, that, that's a different story. So mm -hmm. I'm thinking I'm with my regular partner. We, we, this guy's this guy that we we kind of know has been arrested all the time. I just ran his name on the computer, and it comes back felony, no bail warrant. For those of you who don't know anything about that. Someone, if you run someone's name in a computer, go over to the radio and say their name, and they have a no bail warrant by a judge, you have to bring that person in or attempt to. But you have to do this. Have to. No so what, what? So what if it's like a little hundred and twenty pound girl? You know. Yeah, she's with me. So so this guy's who's wait, wait. Do you have a hundred and twenty pound girl with you? Yeah, right? that, this night. 
Wow. Okay, so this dude's like six foot four, two eighty, and he's got as much muscle as you. Okay. Wow. So I'm like, I gotta take. I'm like, hey, you know, this guy with Joe. Joe's name was Joe. Whatever. Got gotta take you, and you got no bail. The judge wants you in court. You know, you'll be in and out. They'll probably release you tonight. He's like, I ain't going to court. He's all PCP. He's on PCP. He's he's like. You know, doing these crazy gestures at me. Oh wow! You know, like and I, I'm, I already know. I mean, he's on some shit. And so, so you got to think that because it's really hard to deal with someone, right? Especially if they're on something like PCP. It's incredibly it's, hard to. It's probably the worst drug someone could be on that you're trying to. Don't feel pain. Have an altercation with. Okay? Keep going. Energy just not. It just keeps going. Right. So this guy wasn't going. So so he, like he literally. I was like, hey man, turn around. He's like, I ain't turn around. He just started. He just came right at me. Right. And like about about to punch me, and like I had my, I work nights all the time, so I had my flashlight, mm -hmm. which has like a, like that long of a mm -hmm. streamlight. I literally took it, took it full on. You know, I played baseball for years, and right across face. Wow. And I'm fig. I mean, I thought he was gonna kill me. I really did. I mean, no, yeah. I mean, no BS. I mean, he's, he's coming at you. He's a big dude. Just I mean, yeah. coming right at me, and I'm like, that's all I had. So I was like, boom. So. With my experience, someone usually would get knocked up. <laughs> yeah, but, he didn't but, go down. No, he went like this. Well, boom, and came, he, came really? right back. Yeah, and it was nuts, man. I mean, he just came at me. So the female, or the person, the partner I'm with, uh, you know, yeah, okay. just didn't do anything and called for backup. And so, luckily, I didn't get knocked out. I, I mean, I got hit, came back, and God. God helped me out a little bit. The guy thought he could do a double leg takedown on me, and I was a you know division one wrestler, and yeah. that wasn't going to happen. So I was able to stuff it and choke him. And but if not, I, I would have got my ass kicked, I'm sure. But it should have been a little bit easier if you had a <laughs> capable partner there with you too. Yeah, if I had two you would people, think, right? And it would still be a struggle. Yeah, I mean, we could have four people would be a struggle, but yeah. if we have five more of this person show up, my partner, yeah. it's going to do no good. I, yeah, and I'm, if you know. At that point, yeah, and, yeah. and just but just think how bad that could have went, though. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not. I'm, I'm sitting here telling you right now. What if it was just her, and she ran the warrant, and she has to take take that guy in? Well, she like, uh, could you imagine? No, I, I wouldn't want to imagine. She would she would be either dead, or he, uh, she would have shot him, or yeah, something, or shot what the, happened the neighbor. Because she didn't know how to hit the target. Because we used the example earlier. Really. Yeah. So, so that's those are the problems, and that's kind of the example we were talking about the domestic violence. Who mm -hmm. shows up? Oh, you know, yeah. I mean, at least I or if you showed up, we have a chance, a good chance, yeah, of getting him into custody somehow, especially together. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. yeah. Easily. Yeah. Yeah. Well, PCP is a rough one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they feel no pain. Yeah. When they feel no pain, it's tough. But I mean, but that's a perfect example of like, yeah. okay, you don't really have the best qualified people out there i mean that's mm -hmm. case in point right yeah and th that's what we're trying to say you know mm -hmm. is you know it'd be like you know I, if they put one of us in a running back in the super bowl right they would probably we get a lot of running yards yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? i mean a few but not much <laughs> <laughs> i don't know I, just, I don't like putting myself I, down you know I, I, no i don't like, 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 like to think some things too but, but <laughs> But in reality, I'm we're just, probably not the best running back for the NFL. Mm. <laughs> so, they would like Challenge that. Challenge accepted. They'd be like, yeah, he's big. Man. Challenge accepted. <laughs> well, I would too. Because we're both <laughs> yeah, I guess, stupid. But, but we're built like that. Yeah, we're built it, it, like exactly. that. Exactly. But yeah. reality is, yeah, it's not yeah. the best person for the job. And like, yeah. I realize that. Even yeah, though yeah. I, I would say, okay, I'll do it. Yeah, no. I probably and you would too. No, I don't think I'm short enough for a running back. I think a running back would be a little short. You are tall. Yeah, I'm 6'3". So, yeah. Probably 6'4". Middle, yeah. in the middle linebacker. but yeah, no, I'm just thinking, uh, yeah, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. It's like just what? having the best people, especially when your life is involved. My gosh, people, come on, you know, it's your children's life shows up to the children, a pork or anything, stray bullets. You're especially learning how to fire a gun, especially learning the law, especially not being corrupted or callous to where you're just. Yeah, doing the most awful shit you possibly can to people. I'm not saying that it's on the daily or it's always consistent, but it happens. It's here. It's amongst us, and it needs to stop. The big tank.